Millie Weaver reporting for InfoWars.com. Recently, InfoWars has been under attack by a massive attempt to hack the website and shut it down. They are trying to shut us down and shut us up. We know that these attacks have been linked to and pointed to China. InfoWars has been hit with the biggest hack attack, DDoS attack, and other attacks of our history. Our top IT people tell us they're some of the biggest in internet history. We've also seen that YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Facebook are, are talking about using Chinese censorship technology and algorithms in order to start censoring the American people. That's why I've been screaming bloody murder since last year about Zuckerberg meeting at least 14 times with the head censor in China, learning how to do it and telling Merkel during a hot mic this year that don't worry, we're going to be censoring soon. My YouTube channel has had videos frozen. The views were actually frozen for an entire 24 hour period. I looked into it and YouTube says that it can actually choose to freeze a video and investigate into that video. Well, because of YouTube's new algorithm, the velocity of a video will determine how many people see the video. They'll actually censor a video from your subscribers' feeds if the velocity of that video is not moving upward at a fast enough rate. So if they can go ahead and freeze a video, well, they can block a lot of my subscribers from seeing that video. And we're seeing that happen with a lot of people now. And many people on Twitter and on Facebook have been speaking out about this. They've been gaming the system for a long time to shut down nationalistic or patriotic media saying we're right-wingers, saying we're extremists. We have a right to free speech, don't we? As long as we don't violate the rules. Well, now Zuckerberg has come out and said he's gonna restrict conservative news like communist China does, calling it fake news. And Google, that owns YouTube, has announced, and they've done it now, two weeks ago, that they're going to basically make you click the bell or you won't get all the channels that you've subscribed to and you won't get the videos. They're taking the you out of YouTube. So let's go ahead and ask some of these people on the street what they think about their fellow Americans being censored and if they would agree with this or are they concerned about it. Let's go see what they have to say. Do you guys use social media like Twitter, Facebook, YouTube at all? Yes. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Which ones do you use? Uh, Instagram and Snapchat for the most part. Instagram and Twitter. Just Facebook. Sometimes Facebook. Facebook, that's about it. Facebook. What happens when a country cracks down on fake news? Ask China. Now, the Wall Street Journal is a little bit more honest. They go, you know, China cracked down on fake news, but it also shut down people that criticize communism. They want to be left alone and be certified by the government as the only sites you can visit, while systems of filtration and censoring and licensing shut everything else down. Would it be surprising to find out that Facebook's owner, Mark Zuckerberg, has been looking into using Chinese technology and algorithms to censor things from the American public? I guess I'm not, I'm not surprised by anything that happens anymore, to be honest with you. Would it freak you out to know that YouTube and Twitter and Facebook is deciding what you can and can't see in your feeds that your friends are sharing? Um, a little bit, yeah. I mean, I think that's, people should have the freedom to post what they want as long as it's not like super inappropriate, but that's just me because I don't want to see super inappropriate things or something like that, but yeah. I mean, that's like kind of a, a little bit weird. that's a little bit of an invasion of privacy, I'd say, but uh, I mean, yeah, that's not good. Yeah, it does surprise me. Like, would it surprise me or? Yeah. Not really, to be honest. I'm not big on censorship, so. I've heard about that, uh, getting rid of fake news, supposedly. Well, what are you, what's your opinion on that? Uh, I don't like it. I mean, I think that's just an easy way to suppress uh, views that they don't agree with. Uh, so, not a fan of it at all. No, it doesn't surprise me at all. No. What do you think about that? Do you think that that's something that Americans shouldn't do or allow to happen? I don't think it should happen, no. But how are they going to stop it at this point? Would it upset you if you sh like to know that you could be sharing something or an article or something you think that you want to share with your friends or family and they could not be seeing it because Facebook's algorithms have s chosen to censor that article? Um, yeah, that might bug me a little bit. For sure. 
Yeah, that's pretty weird because they're not like allowing you to share what you want to share with, you know, the people you want to share it with. So I don't know. Yeah, that seems a little bit weird to me and makes little to no sense. Uh, no, I haven't heard about that, but not surprising. From who? Actually, Infowars.com and a lot of other YouTubers and you know Twitter users that are that have big followings have come out saying that they've noticed that it seems like there's been an effort to kind of use the algorithms that these sites use in order to hamper their views and their outreach. That's uh, pretty crazy. I mean, at the same time, not surprised. As I said I, guys like Mark Zuckerberg, they definitely. Uh, not a favor, or they don't like, you know, conservative views, in my opinion, so it's not surprising to hear that type of stuff. Do you think that we should just get off of these sites and boycott them, or what do you think people should do? I think it's at the discretion of the people. I really do. If they decide to do it and keep on doing it, then that's their choice. Uh, I would choose not to if it goes any further like this. Yeah. So after speaking with many people on the street here, none of them really seem too fond of the idea of censorship. They don't want the social media sites that they use to censor the content that they can see on their sites as well as the content that they share. They're not a fan of this idea. Well, we'll see if these sites that are popular right now, like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, will end up getting cold feet as to their, their moves that they're making to censor people's content. Hopefully their feet will be as cold as mine are right now. And <laughs> uh, basically, the American people aren't buying it. They don't want it. So if you guys don't want your sites to turn into MySpace and to be replaced with the next best thing, you better smarten up YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. This is Millie Weaver signing off for Infowars.com. Oh. <laughs>